Hey, health teachers. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to share what's going on in my health classroom the rest of this week. I am closing in on the end of the semester and I have so much left to do. My seventh grade students didn't get the puberty lessons that they were supposed to get in fifth grade because of the pandemic. So I need to catch up on puberty, teach communication, sexual health, and advocacy in under six weeks. Can I do it? Well, one way that I'm trying to get it done is by combining some of these lessons. So what I'd like to share with you is the puberty games, an Olympic of sorts to help teach students about the basics of puberty and the basics of communication. Everything you see in the video, you can get through the links that will be provided in the description. So let's take a look at it. The first game that students will play in the puberty games is called Change is Good, and it's based on Advocates for Youth 3 R's lesson of the same title. If you're not familiar with 3 R's, it's an amazing free curriculum, K through 12. And there's a link here where you can click in and see the lesson as planned. To also teach communication, I've turned these lessons into games that create challenges for students. So I'm going to ask students to work in teams and have them positioned opposite a wall that has some sorting cards. And the lesson change is good. Students have to look at changes associated with puberty and decide if they're physical, social, cognitive, or emotional changes. So I'll deal the cards to each of the teams. And then here's where the challenge comes in. One member of each team has to close their eyes and their team members have to guide them to the sorting wall to place the card into the correct category. After they've tried it once, I'm going to stop them and ask them what worked well and what didn't so that they can change their actions if they need to. I'm not gonna mention communication specifically, but my guess is it'll come up in the discussion. Then I'll let them finish the activity and finish sorting out the cards. Here you see an example of the cards directly from Advocates for Youth and my idea of kind of having this sorting wall on the other side of the room. Once they've finished the activity, students will get this handout, which you'll have a link to. It's adapted directly from Advocates for Youth Change is Good, but just allows a couple fill in the blanks to keep them engaged as we go over those changes that are so common in puberty. Next, we're gonna move on to game two, which is based on the lesson from Advocates for Youth called Everybody's Got Body Parts. Now, Advocates for Youth does a really great job of being all-inclusive, but you'll notice they specifically reference female anatomy and male anatomy. I suggest you look at the lesson. It asks you to frame this as um, female anatomy being the sex assigned at birth. And in the rest of their lessons, they would say a person with a vulva or a person with a penis. But this kind of sets you up for that language later in your lessons. Again, students are going to work in teams, but this time I'm gonna have two teams work together. One team will have the diagram as printed from the Advocates for Youth lesson. The other team will have ad, um, access to their devices and specifically the resources that are provided in the lesson through Kids Health, a slideshow of female anatomy and a video. The team who has access to the device needs to teach the team with the diagram how to label their diagram but they can't use the numbers that are on the diagram to tell them. All they can use is their words. They can't point, they can't show them the pictures. This will get students actually talking and using the proper terminology, but it's also a real challenge to communication. Once they finish doing female anatomy, we'll regroup as a class, discuss what worked well and what didn't, and then switch roles for the male anatomy. I plan to go over each diagram and show them the two videos after they've finished the game. The final challenge in the puberty games is checking for understanding. Now, last class, I talked about violence prevention, its relationship to stress, mental illness, and sexual abuse. So I've added into the re these review questions some information about sexual abuse that is also from an Advocates for Youth lesson and I reference that right in the handout that you'll see. This challenge asks the class to work together.
the whole class to complete the review questions in 10 minutes or less. Now the challenge is the students will earn the lowest score of their classmates. So it's really important to ensure everyone has the same answers. And if they get all the answers correct, they'll win a movie day before break. Now they don't know that I've already planned a movie day before break because it will give me an opportunity to meet privately with pairs of students in the hallway so they can do their role plays and demonstrate their communication skills. We're just not gonna tell them that part. This gives students an opportunity to again, try to communicate in what is kind of a high stakes situation. When they finish, we'll review the questions and then we'll process the overall activity explaining that communication is a skill that can help us to stay safe, healthy, and happy. And that to be successful in the puberty games, they have to be pretty good at speaking and listening to one another, as well as problem solving and cooperating. And then I plan to have a discussion with them about what sort of things worked and what things didn't as we fill out the form that you see in front of you. Again, you have access to all of this, and I will try and reiterate these highlights of good communication. These are essentially the things I cover in my intro lessons to communication. So I've combined the puberty lessons with these communication lessons. From here, I'm gonna go on to teach students about healthy relationships, being assertive and showing empathy before I move on to lessons specifically about sexual health. You can look for links in the description of this video to connect you with additional lessons. I'll let you know how this goes, and please let me know how it goes for you if you try the puberty games. Have a great day.